This video is about disinformation in general. I have a lot of problems in my life that I should be attending to. Today especially. I have some major things I have to take care of. And all that I care about is getting these videos out. Getting my thoughts together. I don't even want to type it out. I'm pretty good at reciting poetry and things that are scripted. But when it comes to how I really feel about world issues, politics, what I really want to see happen, I can't bring myself to that superficial phase of typing, getting it just right, memorizing it, and dishing it to you on a spin. I want it natural. I don't even want to comb my hair. I get trashed for how I look. Well, guess what? I've had some good-looking girlfriends. My girlfriend right now is gorgeous, so eat. <laughs> Whatever you gotta eat on that. I'm happy, alright? I'm not happy with a lot of things, but I am happy because I feel like a complete person for the first time in my life. I don't know everything, but I get it. For the first time, I get it. And it's because of catching disinformation by the tail. It tried to get away. You pull any animal by their tail, boy, they get pissed. And if you notice, they try to bite your hand. They try to bite your hand. And, they, and then you gotta go left, right, left, right, left, right and they can't get to your hand. If you don't move, they will get to your wrist. They'll break their ribs to get to your wrist to bite. But if you just keep going like this, you got them. Just a little left and right. Hold them by the tail, left and right, they tire up and they shut up. And then they realize you got them. That's how to catch them. I've caught so many of these people and I want people to join me in catching them. I've made videos where I say, anybody that's on the Alex Jones show is in on it. That kind of, I don't mean that. I mean anyone that he agrees with. That he's, you know, in agreement with, like, their pals. You know, like, I just watched a video where he was interviewing Joseph Farah of WND, and I thought, yeah, really? Him too? Why? Why him? I mean, I know, but, wow, Really? And I thought about it. He comes out with book after book after book after book slamming Barack Obama with the Tea Party uh, mentality. Just book after book after book after book. And DVD after DVD after... He's just a huge with it. With that spin on Republican conservative uh, perspective. And Coulter. I mean, uh, what's his name? Uh, Santorum is a columnist on his website now. The ultra-Christian... Just that part of it, where they're just, yeah, homosexuals, <laughs> kill them. You know, that's, that's the way they are. I don't know if Farah's like that, but he supports people that talk like that. Well, basically, he's slamming all kinds of people that are supported by Israel, secretly, by Mossad. That's just the whole plan, the subversive plan with uh, the banking system to set up Barack Obama and all this... Uh, initiative to smash into the Middle East to protect Syria, I mean, Israel's uh, area, you know, so they can exterminate the Palestinians and all that great stuff. The uh, thing about Farah is he comes off as on the Christian part of it, as if support Israel because you're Christian. With the main thing about Christianity missing, they kill Jesus. The Jews don't believe in Jesus at all. They're against Jesus, just by their non-belief, by default. Which means they are anti-Jesus. Which means they are anti-Christ. It is not anti-Semitic to point out that they are anti-Christ. In fact, for millennia, calling someone the anti-Christ was calling them Satan. <laughs> See how it works? Disinformation and Taking a fact and trying to turn it back around on itself to make it shut up is how it, is the basic formula. That's where anti-Semitism comes from because of the anti-Christ stamp that brewed there for so long in the Middle Ages. You're the anti-Christ! No, you're anti-Semitic! See? Brilliant. They're brilliant people, if you haven't noticed. Anyway. Disinformation. I uh, think the first time that I really had my first moment of politics was well, 
three years old. Richard Nixon had just been kicked out of office. And my Uncle Pat was just jubilant about it. He thought it was great when those two reporters busted him at the Washington Post. He used to come up to me. I mean, I have a picture of perfect memory of my Uncle Pat, 1974, coming up to me and saying, Hey, 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 you know who's on a $3 bill? Huh? I didn't know what he's talking about. It was a joke. You know, he's like, huh? Huh? Nixon! <laughs> you know, he thought that was the funniest thing in the world. But that's, I think my quest about disinformation started there. But the real moment that my obsession with this started about three years ago, when my father died. He had a library of books. Um, uh, a lot of them I had to throw away just because I, just, I couldn't move them. I didn't have the money, and, but he had these great books. One of them was by Bob Woodward, the famous reporter of the Woodward Bernstein bust on Nixon. But what stopped me dead in my tracks, dead in my tracks, I thought, this is the Watergate guy. This is the guy who's anti-bullshit. This is the guy who's the Washington Post watchdog on the White House, writing a book about George Bush called Plan of Attack. Or, I think it's Plan of Attack. Plan of Action? Plan of something. Whatever it was, it was his, he spent like two months with the Defense Department in the cabinet meetings with Bush and in like Rumsfeld and all those horrible guys um, that went into the Iraq War. Yeah, a plan of attack, something like that. And I, I was looking through it, and I was like, no way, no way. He agrees with them. He's for this? Bob Woodward is for destroying Iraq? All those people? All that corruption? 9-11? You're, you're the Watergate guy. You're the Watergate guy. You're deep throat. Deep throat. That's a porn term. How stupid could people be? There's no deep throat. It's a joke. It's about... That's deep throat. You're stupid. <laughs> You're sucking their dicks. You are deep throat! Get it? You are sucking their dicks! It's disinformation! There is no deep throat. They're all in on it. And it was just a big fictional thing. Because Nixon just didn't want to be president anymore. He didn't want to be... What do you think he didn't go to jail? He just didn't want to be held responsible for the Vietnam War. He says, I'm out of here. Please come up with some cockamamie story to get me out of this so I can resign. That was it. And they did, and it was stupid. Breaking into some hotel to get some papers. And these guys are meeting deep throat in some garage somewhere. As if the FBI wouldn't have caught on to that after the first story and, and followed them down into the garage again. And people bought that and bought that and bought that all year. That's crazy. And people just keep falling for this shit. And I just don't understand. stand. I mean, I want you to wake up. Oh, I'm going to do a video about something I learned about myself, which might shock you. It might not surprise you, because I, you can tell by looking at me, but... My dad was into genealogy, and uh, I learned a little something about myself. And it shocked the shit out of me, but I kind of suspected it. But I am not a liar, and I'm going to tell you. And I hate lies. Especially lies from the people I have put my complete trust in. The people that are governing me and guiding my life and all of my options here in the United States. The media has a responsibility to watchdog the government, but lo and behold, they are all owned by the same people who are not in government or media. Billionaires, not even billionaires. I mean, when it comes to real wealth, it's so beyond money. It's been going on for 500 years. A strategic plan of, you know how wrestling is, pro wrestling, where you know it's bullshit, and like the match is set up, and the winner who wins knows they're going to win, and the crowd knows who's going to win, and it's all in entertainment, but it's a gag, and... Everybody knows, but nobody calls it out, and they just go and have a good time, you know, and... Unfortunately, that is politics, too, and that is the newspaper, that is the television, that is everybody you can name. Except the people like me that are pissed, and there's a few of us that are real, and we want something real. We want a real government that is not bribed by billionaires. Because, you know, those super rich people, there aren't many of them. Very rich people work for them. 
But the really rich people, there's only a few of them. I mean, there's like five of them. And they are only figments on, you know, land surveys. They are just figments, really, on uh, deed uh, transfer documents. You can't see them. They're like giant squid. They're just too deep. But they've got machines now that can go deep down into the Marianas Trench with a camera. The very first giant squid was photographed just a couple weeks ago. And the same thing goes for the people that are actually causing all of this evil in the world. The people that fund the big disinformation campaigns like Watergate and 9-11. And all of this is going on now with uh, the setup in Iran and Syria on behalf of Israel. It's all just so many people are dying who should not. And so many people are not rising up who could. It's disinformation. It's lying in your face. It's lying in your face. You, once you know something's bunk, you gotta watch out, though. You can't just, like, follow the Pied Piper, like, you know, the people that follow Richard Gage. That's the whole reason Richard Gage is there. Because the people that might revolt against the real culprits, they've got to be, you know, tractor beamed and pulled into the Death Star or else they'll actually cause a problem. So the people that have potential problems, they send in the disinfo agents to hoodwink them and distract them and lead them off path. The AE 911 Truth people. They, they brag about their 1,500 architects supporting them. It's like, uh -huh, yeah, there's a few, few, I mean, it's a million uh, architects in the world who do not go along with that crap. 1,500 is not a lot at all. When it comes to as many people, professional engineers who saw 9-11, with their own eyes. They know what that was. <laughs> they know that steel does not turn to dust with thermite or anything. That is pff, electromagnetic, molecularly based technology. And they're like, time to shut up. <laughs> you know, we're not going to be interviewed on any DVD about this. We just we want to keep our lives and our job. And that sucks that they don't all band together and say, no, none of that was possible. None of that was possible by conventional means, whether it's the official story, or that DVD, or that DVD, or that book. No. <laughs> None of that is physically possible. They're doing this with technology they finally probably found in the Great Pyramid. I mean, this is who knows what. But you gotta just call it like it is, even if you don't know what it is. You gotta say, well, at least not that. But enough has happened that we can photograph the giant squid. We've got... We've got the technology, we have the internet, we can all talk, we can all get our opinions out. Unless they shut that down, fine. But we are aware. And they need us to comply and, and cooperate, and that's the problem. We all pay these crazy taxes. We all agree to these things. A credit card is a cancer cell. And nobody gets that. And it's put out there on purpose. AIDS and uh, Hep C were created in a lab. Anything that can't be cured was created that way. Anything that's just kept, you know, at a nil by a medicine, that's man-made. Bugs can be killed. Natural-born bugs can be killed. But cyborgs made in labs to put in your blood, they're, they're made by man. They're made to not be killed. Or if they can be killed, they only put medicines out there to kill them a little bit. Well, this could go on and on. But I want to make it clear that I am a, a warrior against disinformation. I'm not an info warrior. I'm a disinfo warrior. And uh, there's more to come. But I want, I want comrades. If you're with me, please say you're with me. Subscribe to my channel. Let's talk. Let's get people together. If you believe anything I'm saying, you have a question, you have a sincere question, want to call me out, let's talk. No insults, no names, I won't talk to you. If you have a channel that has no profile picture, no uploads, no subscribers, I'm not talking to you, I'm going to block you as soon as you speak. I will only talk to real people. And you got to prove to me you're a real person. If you want to have a real conversation, we got to have a Skype where I can see your face. But I want an army. I want to get an army together against the disinformation campaigns. Because there are so many of them. And it is so wrong that it's gone on so long. It needs to stop now.